the community isn't a community if it doesn't include children. One of the tests for us of a, a community that's truly equal and inclusive is how does it view children? Does it view children as unwelcome interlopers? Does it view children as tolerated guests? Or does it view children and young people as people that contribute and add value to communities? And for us it's the latter. It's scandalous to me that in modern Britain, children go hungry, they're homeless, um, and they often experience ill health as a result of the conditions that are mainly social. So the winch exists to help children and young people and their families to succeed by giving them the opportunity and support that they deserve to live a fulfilling life full of dignity and opportunity. The most important impact we can make is to support young people discovering their own agency and building communities in which they feel they belong and are valued. We do that by providing a, what we call a cradle to career pipeline of opportunity, which is a network of peer-led group support, after school clubs and youth clubs, professional one-to-one -one support from trained workers, and opportunities for the community to be involved in projects and programmes that are around shaping the conditions in which they live more directly. I've been a youth worker for nigh on 30 years now in loads of different settings, voluntary settings, faith-based settings, local authorities. The thing about the winch that struck me when I came here and the thing that still excites me about it is kind of how present we are in the lives of the young people we're working with. We're out among them a lot in different places and that enables us to build um, trusting relationships with them from quite a young age. We know some of them from when they're quite young through to when they're moving on to whatever they're going to do post-school or post-college. Um, and that's been a really valuable thing in the way that the winch works. Well, I started going to winch when I was 15. Yeah, I left ed education, so I started to do a gap year at winch. And during that time, I literally fell in love with the place, fell in love with what the job role entailed. And um, yeah, been there ever since for, I think, 11 years now. Seeing the impact um, youth work and the winch had on my life was massive. It changed my whole life. So just seeing the impact it could have on a young person, and me at the time, just the feeling of giving that back and the feeling of being able to give that to other young people in my community is, is yeah, what gets me up every morning. Through the company, which happens in this space here, is our enterprise programme for young adults aged 18 to 25 who are furthest from the labour market. That's often young, um, working class, black, people or people who've got um, an undiagnosed health condition or have a known disability who find it most difficult to find work. Over the past five years we've invested in 67 youth-led, young adult-led businesses directly investing in the skills and um, capabilities of those businesses and um, creating a pool of money in which they can pitch um, for investment. Of those 67 businesses, 75% are still running three years later, which is a phenomenal result for um, any business startup. So we're not only supporting communities, employing people directly, we're also creating businesses um, and assets which may then invest in the community in future. We have run um, and preserved from closing Bell Size Community Library, which in 2012 was due to be closed down and lost to the community and we've run that now for a number of years as an inclusive space. That provides a space for people to come learn, read, um, connect to each other, as well as start their own businesses. So young people have not been well served during the pandemic, the triple pandemic of COVID, racism and Brexit. They've seen their job opportunities diminish, their um, education opportunities narrow, and support that they should be given by the state being reduced. Through the pandemic um, we saw um, many organisations like the Winch across the country stepping up and stepping forward and primarily the first responders to the pandemic were um, local organisations including local councils but often in partnership with local community organisations. That meant that organisations like the Winch were filling statutory gaps so we managed to raise through our generous supporters a hardship fund through which we were able to help people buy goods to make sure that people living in precarious housing or in poverty could cook. 
We arranged for people to move houses when their temporary accommodation was closed. We paid for young people to access counselling because the CAMS mental health waiting list for young people is incredibly long in some places. We've also had to step up a gear as well. And what we've managed to do through the pandemic is broker in a huge number of new relationships to support the community. So local businesses or local institutions who perhaps didn't appreciate the value of the local community, I think it's been brought front of mind to them as to what an important part of their work that should be. Looking to the immediate future, I think a lot of like-minded organisations believe that collaboration is central to how we respond to building forward from the pandemic. The locality is a really good network of organisations that are trying to do something unique and often something that's uncharted um, for their community. You learn a lot, you share a lot, you get to um, find out about work that's happening in different parts of the country, you get out of your bubble. And that's really, um, really, really important, I think, for leaders currently um, in the sector that they see things from different perspectives. Many of the young people that we work with are fundamentally aspirational about the communities they live in. They want to see those communities improve, they want those communities to flourish. They have the energy to bring to those ambitions, they, they think longer term. Um, but also they're willing to work to make those um, ambitions for the communities come true. So it's really, really important for us that children are included. And secondly, that communities get to benefit from the skills and talents that they offer.